welcome back to another video here and this is actually another bucket plugin tutorial or spigot or spigot and yeah so today I'm going to be teaching config files so like how to do configs um I'll do like file saving and stuff next video and yeah so I guess uh, we could get started here if I have the basic setup here of everything we need I'm playing an on join listener class but yeah so I guess we can begin now and so how we're going to do this is um, first we need to save the default config to do that we're going to create a new method below load method and we'll call it public void and whatever you want I'm going to just call it uh, register config alright then now we can register the config in here. This is a good thing. And so to do this, there's many ways to do it, but the way I'm going to be doing it is git config. So we're going to get the config. And we're going to options. And then we're going to set copy defaults to true. Alright, what's that problem? You don't actually want to plug it. You actually want to plug it. But that's not the problem with you. Alright. Well, we're going to continue doing it anyways. And save. Config. Alright, and then, just, then we're going to want to go here and create a a new file config .rml. okay so I have that in notepad plus plus move that over here huh oh oh my gosh I forgot the parentheses that's why and then we have to define it up here just uh config. Oh. There we go. Alright, so now we open it here. Now this is notepad uh plus plus. You don't have to use notepad plus plus, you could use the in edit in it in it so but I like using uh, notepad plus plus for this. And so you know, you can do the you can use uh, number signs as comments like you would that's that in Java so and yeah all right so how this works is you basically uh, use variables here so it stores data so like it could you could be a string, so here's a here's an example of a string. A string. And it could be an integer. And it could be like a number like an integer of nineteen or whatever. It could be a double and stuff. It could be a, a boolean or two. Um it could be a lot more other things, like floats and decimals. Not decimals, I meant double. A double is a decimal. Okay. So, it could also be a list too. I'll show that. I want to think of what I want to do with this. Let's create a model of the day. We can just like do MOTD. So, that's going to be like the name of our thing. And then, let's go ahead and display a message. And yeah, 
So now you know you don't use tabs in YML files, but I have my tab configured to do spaces instead of actual tabs, so I can press tab, but it's actually four spaces that I'm doing. And then you, you I'll then I'll just put one of these and um I'll say welcome to the show. What what what's that color? Might as well. Welcome to the server. And let's do enjoy your stay. Okay, let's get the which is the player too. So by doing um present player, we're gonna do some variables too. I might as well teach you how to do that since uh, configs. Don't take that long to do. Um, yeah. uh, I should probably do more, more example than that. Um. Okay. So I guess we could also make a command to where it displays a message. Yeah, I'll give you an example. So we could do like one. So we could do one, and then we could tab over a new message, and then we're gonna go ahead and do test, and then I'll show you how to get this within the other, and you can like keep getting them within the other. Like I could do like another, and, like H or whatever, and like you just keep doing them inside of each other, inside of each other, and you access it with dots. I'll show you that in a second. Yeah, I guess this is all example config. Uh, note that I won't save the comment. Well, if if you you can change the option to save the first line, but this doesn't save the comments. I can show you how to save the comments uh, later, like another episode video. But um, yeah, it will it won't change it though. If you change the config, it won't change it when. They install your new version when they upload the server, update the server, or start it up. Alright, let's close that out. Um, see ya. Okay. Um. Alright, I, I, right, so I'm just trying to think of how I want to do this. Alright, so I have the on join already. So the setup. I didn't set up the actual listener yet, though. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing that we're gonna want to do is implement listener, of course. Um, yeah. And then let's go ahead and do. It. And then let's access our private. Uh, if you don't, this is a constructor here that accesses uh the main. Class, just so I could access all the variables and whatnot in there a lot easier. Comes in handy. Um, on join. And then. Alright, and then we gotta do main plugin. Oh, uh, this plugin. This plugin. There we go. That's all set up. Um. Alright, so now we need to do the actually event, so event handler and public void join event uh, player join event. Let's go to the event. I'm going to import you and I'm going to import you. There we go. I uh let's get the player now so player p equals event dot and then we we'll need to make that capital and import it. Okay. And then we we'll need to display the message. Okay, so in order to do that, we're gonna need a for loop here. Well, no, 
or needs available for us. So first we have to go through and get the messages. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, uh, string. No. String. Yes, it is. Um. Login dot get uh, config and then we need to go out we need to get us not get class I suck to config swell all right um so now we get us doing list and oh let's go ahead and get it in me no not that so what I say here said uh, TD so then I just get that and it will okay, did that one one kind of string list oh no whoops that if I was already accessing it uh, test yeah, I don't use string lists too often. I don't use lists too often. I don't use a waitlist or a waste. Um. Alright. So now it's time to do the for loop. So we need to do for. So I do that. And then let's do. So the first one we need to find a variable. So string. Um. Call it X. Uh, and what I need to do. Um, space this out. And then test. There we go. Um, then we send the message. So P that send message. And we send that. Well, plus we want to get the chat call. Um, translate alternate color codes. Then we do a char, and the char would be the and sign. And then let's change this to um, plugin dot get config. And then I get no, no that no, no, because we're getting the model of the day, so we do test. So probably not. I named them the same thing. I switched them around. Yay! I meant X. Not this. Okay, there we go. That should work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that should work. So go ahead and make sure look like I have it in the white order. I don't tell you something that's not right. Um, yeah, okay, I have it right. Just want to make sure I haven't done that in a while. And save it. There we go. And then let's go ahead and send test to it. And so then after that, I'm just going to send, send message. So I'm doing the command. Um, so now we're going to send the message. Login dot get config. And then we're going to go ahead and get the string. And so how we would do this would be, what do we call it? One dot message. What do we call it? So the dot means the next line. So you could like do another one like dot hi and that would look like um, one that messages and then hi of course you can't have the string here then but yeah right, how it would look like a mail and there we go so now what we have to do 
is go through and do it and load it in the load method. And to do that, you just remove the stuff. And we do, of course, buck, uh, not bucket, bucket dot. Uh, I can't, can't type today. Bucket dot get a server dot get plugin manager. And we need to register the event. Uh, not that long. Alright, so then we're just going to be doing new, the name of the class, on join. I have to add this to this. As we had a constructor, this, as you can see, the constructor here is name plugin. So, yeah. Put on join. Event. Events. Then S. There we go. And that should be good. So this would be how you would set up a config and how you do color code real quickly. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to actually do a little test right now and stop it. I will do the test on camera, but you know. Uh, it is, my recording doesn't go very good when I open up Minecraft with this recording software. So, I'm going to, uh, stop the recording real quickly, export it, and run it, sorry about that, and run it through the thing. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next time, if it works, of course. So if it works, you'll be seeing it on your screen now, if it works, if it doesn't, I'll be <laughs> right back. Um... Yeah. So, I'll see if it works or not. Hey guys, I am back here. Uh, it works, but you know, you gotta make sure you have a plugin.yml. I didn't have that. And I realized that I totally forgot to, uh, do the variable. So to do that, I could just, I just do replace. And I do this percent percent and let's replace it with p with p dot oh p dot get name actually I'm gonna add a little bit of space right here also make sure to add you don't need these here but I'm just gonna put them just to have them. And then we'll, once again, when you go to export, you just do file. Export. Yeah. And, yeah. So then you choose your location here, which is just blow it out for you. And I gotta choose one, so there we go. Thanks. Okay, yes. If it fails, just do it again. Okay, and it should be good now. So, see you guys later again. Bye-bye.